Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, welcome to Ask Muslah. Today we're talking about stop leading them on. What exactly is this about? Basically, you have brother and a sister talking to each other. And one party, if you'd like, is saying all the right things and giving all the right indications that they're interested in that person, but deep down inside, they're really not that interested or they're not too sure if you are Mr. or Mrs. Wright. So how do you deal with a situation like this? Number one, for the people who do this, any of the brothers and sisters or Muslims out there, if you're in several relationships, if you'd like, or talking to several people, and you're not too sure which one you're interested in, the first thing is you need to fear Allah Azza wa Jal. Because remember that these individuals, they are human beings. They have feelings. And part of being a Muslim is you consider and you think about those feelings. You put yourself in that person's shoes and just ask yourself how you would feel if you were being led on to thinking that something was really there. And before you know it, they stop their relationship and everything comes falling down. Everything comes crashing down. And as a result, it's not very good. It's not part of the etiquettes of the believer. It's not part of the sifat of the ibadul rahman, the characteristics of a true slave of Allah Azza wa Jal. Secondly, this is also a type of dishonesty or level of dishonesty towards you and that person because you're not being completely direct with them. You're not telling them the complete truth. You're either telling them a half truth or you're not telling them the truth at, at all. And this is something that's denounced in our religion at any level. You always try to be, especially um, towards a potential spouse, you always try to be honest with everything as much as possible. Just want to conclude with one point. So we have the foundation there is how do you react to a situation like this once you figure this out? First thing that you do is you confront that person. So if you find out that that potential is leading you on and they're really not interested, then the first thing is you confront them. Get your answers because that's what you deserve. You deserve clarity. You deserve to know where you stand with that individual. And once that's determined, that will lead you to your second option, which is at that point you, de you decide whether or not this person is for you. You decide if you want to continue a relationship with them or not because the Prophet ﷺ did tell us that an engagement is something that can be broken at any time. So when you both are engaged, just realize and understand that that's something that can be stopped by both parties at any time they desire. So having said that, brothers and sisters, for everyone out there, if you're in this kind of relationship for the person who's doing this, have taqwa of Allah Azza wa Jal and know that Allah Azza wa Jal is watching you and listening to you. وَعِنْدَهُ مَفَاتِحُ الْغَيْبِ لَا يَعْلَمُهَا إِلَّا هُوَ Allah has the keys to the unseen and He has that knowledge, the knowledge of the unseen which no one else has. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this easy for all of you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.